Hello and welcome to AP Live, and we have a really fun guest today. This is uh, Peter Shinkoda, who's on a lot of very interesting things for us geeks out there. And I'm raising my hand. First of all, Peter is one of the lead characters on the upcoming TNT show we've all been waiting for, Falling Skies with Noah Wiley, etc. And he's also doing a WB series on on the web about that very peaceful game, Mortal Kombat. Right. So welcome. Thank you. I know. So, so what brings you to New York? Are you here to promote the show? or? Uh, to promote uh, you know, both the shows. So I'm doing a, a little press tour junket thing. But you're, you're a Cal well, you're originally from Cal Montreal. From Canada, right? Yeah. From, from where in Canada? Montreal, Canada. Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. So do you speak French too? Or? Je parle français toujours. Uh, je parle oui, je suis seulement un peu. Un peu, oui. So how did you end up, you live in California, how did you, did your parents just move there or did you come here for the, for the... Uh, no, I, uh, I, I, uh, early in my career, I, uh, you know, I, I took, uh, you know, the future into my own hands and I, I left on my own with minimal cash and, you know, just uh, dreams and uh, I went there um, you know, almost 20 years ago. You were like studying like civil engineering or something, right? Yeah, I, I, I had, um, you know, uh, but I, I didn't complete my degree. Uh, yeah, my parents were very upset about that, and I, uh, I just like gave that up and I had to pursue the acting. I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't bear going on because I had such a, uh, a, a passion for acting and and wanted to be in the industry in, in any capacity that I had to, I had to go and pursue it. Well, you actually started behind the camera. I had an opportunity to uh, study uh, post production. Uh, specifically uh, assistant editing for film and television at uh, UCLA and uh, eventually uh, you know got a few jobs professional jobs in editing post-production and uh, I did that for a while hoping that it would some way uh, somehow segue into acting and um, it, it certainly did and I had to give that that up as well because uh, the acting became uh, uh, I had enough jobs that it you know it became my, my primary source of income, so I had to make the choice because I, I kind of blacklisted myself in the editing community by having to leave uh, a lot of the jobs, uh, you know, ah. in, in the middle of them. So, all right, well, so let's talk about this, you know, this is, a, a, it has huge geek pedigree, mm. um, Falling Skies. How would you describe the show? I would call it a, you know, uh, action-packed uh, sci-fi drama. Certainly. But it's not like, you know, it's, you know, a lot of these things in the future, you know, that we see on TV, you know, the battle's about to begin. This is kind of, takes place after the aliens have already arrived. Exactly. Stuff. What's, tell, bring us in, tell us where you bring us in. Well, the story uh, begins um, in the aftermath, uh, specifically six months after this uh, global uh, alien invasion that uh, pretty much decimated the whole world. Uh, um, and uh, maybe only 10% of the, the population is left. Um, so they've taken out uh, these aliens uh, in the process of uh, the, uh, the invasion. They took out the communications grid, and any, anything electronic. Um, the only mechanical things working are uh, old you know, combustion engines, anything without computer chips. So there's uh, all communication lines are cut off. So we're pretty much uh, everybody, the whole world is thrust back into a uh, uh, kind of a 18th century, a uh, 19th century kind of uh, uh, lifestyle where um, uh, people have to be sent, uh, send out runners and messengers and uh, you know, we're pretty much, uh, yeah, thrust right back into a medieval type of uh, lifestyle. It's medieval, but the, the bad guys you're fighting now are these, now is it, is it they're aliens, the aliens they're are there, but is it more than one, I, I was a little confused, is it, because you see two kinds of aliens, right? Yeah, specifically there's, there's, uh, well, it's, it's one. The skitters and the Well, there's, there are two of them. They're, of course, they're, they're, they're allied, but uh, they're, there's one that's a mechanical type of alien. They're called mechs. And the organic ones, the living creatures, are called skitters. They're coined skitters and mechs by, uh, you know, by, by the, the people. And which one do you, do you think is creepier? Well, it seems like uh, the, the the skitters are 
Uh, certainly, skitters. Maybe the, the the mix might be more. The more might have more firepower. But uh, you know, when when the skitters come up close and personal, uh, they they're just uh, more threatening because they're 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 damn ugly. Yeah, they're yeah. like spiders, right? Yeah, they, they, we gave them the name skitters because they skitter around. You know, and they they they're multi limbed and uh, you know, they can grab onto things, and climb. And I don't yeah. know how much I can reveal, actually. Oh, yeah, I don't want to give up too much away, right? But they're certainly uh, very threatening to both of them, and, uh, you know, sometimes they show up uh, together. <laughs> and they're nasty-looking little buggers. I can mm. tell you, I've seen a little, little preview. Um, so do we know, well, um, why don't we stop for a minute, and, and mm. you know, Noah Wiley, he, he's kind of the lead in this, and he's sort of playing the head of these, the group of people that we know about. Yeah. Um, Exactly. But you're like, you're, tell us about your character. Okay? Uh, my character, Dai, um, plays uh, a very loyal friend to him uh, and uh, his uh, confidant, certainly in the, uh, in the military capacity. Uh, a lot of times he will rely on me to uh, you know, carry out a lot of the uh, military operations. But uh, certainly we have um, uh, uh, camaraderie where he can uh, reveal and confide in me about his, uh, you know, his personal feelings. Yeah, I, when, I, when I watched it, and I told you, I saw it a little bit while ago, I got, got, a, got the feeling that if this were a military operation, you know, Noel would, would sort of be the, the lead, but you'd be like one of the top generals, you know? Yeah, I would think that uh, if uh, he is a de facto uh, military leader, uh, but uh, as is everybody else, they, they kind of um, had to take, uh, you know, uh, uh, responsibility, uh, you know, for themselves. All the military has been uh, wiped out. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I would be his, uh, you know, uh, right hand man. He certainly relies on me uh, often. Okay, we're going to get back to that for a minute. But I also uh, want to say today you were saying is the first day. The w you're also on the W, the web series. Yeah, it's their uh, new media division, uh, Warner Brothers Premier. Um, I think this is their first project. Uh, it's, I think it's the most expensive web series ever made, but it's, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat Legacy, um, directed by Kevin Tancheron. And you play Sector? Sector. Are you a good yeah. guy or a bad guy? Well, people with, that are familiar with the game know that he's, uh, he's absolutely evil. Yeah, I, I'm just, <laughs> I, I mean, tell us a little bit about Sector. What other Sector, um is uh, a cyborg ninja. Uh, aesthetically, he's uh, quite similar to, I would say, Boba Fett from Empire Strike, well, the Star Wars series. But uh, he's a, he once was a human, a ninja, and um, he has uh, he had been selected to to um, you know transform himself into uh, a cyborg ninja, and he, he does so uh, quite willingly. Um, and, uh, of course, he's equipped with, uh, you know, all kinds of, um, weaponry, arm flamethrowers, um, chest missiles, you know, things of that sort. It's really cool. They can pull people's spines out and stuff. I'm talking all about my gamer things, boys yeah. out there, and they're like, this is one of the coolest things, because it's like, Mortal Kombat is so violent and stuff, so <laughs> does the WB, does it keep to that, you know, really hardcore sort of, because the game is pretty violent. Oh, it is violent. I th the new incarnation of Mortal Kombat 9 is, uh, you know, you actually see you know, these x-ray versions of you know, the fatalities and the spines getting pulled out. It, yeah, it's, it's violent and... Um, is the series like that as well? Absolutely, because it's, you know, the, the, the medium is uh, the internet and anything goes, as we know. And uh, yeah, they pull no punches. It's, it's, it, it is violent, which makes it, uh, you know, uh, the cool and, and 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 we're really you know servicing the the, the, the real Mortal Kombat fans. I think that uh, they they encourage it and uh, they they want to see it. Okay, so we've only got a few minutes here. I want to sure. go back to Falling Skies. Okay. First of all, um, do we know yet what are we going to find out what these aliens want? Because along with not giving away too much, I think they've showed previews that they're doing stuff for the kids, right? Yeah, the um, uh, the story uh, 
they it, well, yeah, the, the teenagers are being uh, kidnapped and utilized um, uh, from uh, this, the, the the main character standpoint. They don't know what's going on. Uh, the series will uh, develop that storyline. Um, us as actors, we don't know, but certainly uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, the writers, um, they know eventually uh, the end point where they're the, well, the direction that they're going, and they uh, they they do have absolutely um, uh, a plan um, as far as writing and uh, for for I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, they do. <laughs> there there is a certainly a plan. Um, so tell us. You know, be, one of the reasons this gets such a big buzz because it's 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 a Spielberg production. Mm -hmm. How does how closely is he working with us? Very closely. Uh, I uh, I know that he has so many projects going on through DreamWorks. Um, he's also got Terra Nova for Fox is coming out in the fall, and there's, you know Super 8's coming out with J.J. Abrams. So he's got lots lots going on. It's a big Spielberg year. Tintin, uh, War Horse is uh, premiering uh, later this year, but uh, he does find uh, a lot of time to um, be hands on. Certainly, I mean, it was his um, it was his story that he developed with a Michael Wright from TNT, and uh, you know, he commissioned uh, Bob Rodin wrote Saving Private Ryan. Um, so certainly, it was a pet project, and uh, yeah, nothing uh, nothing happens without um, you know Steven Spielberg uh, okaying it. Well, we're going to be tuning in. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of time, but um, oh, that's fine. Peter Shinkodat, thank you so much for joining us. And um, okay. Mortal Kombat, we can. See that on the internet right now? Yeah, I think they're up to uh, Webisode 7, which um, actually uh, launched today, Webisode 7. Um, my Webisode will be in uh, two weeks. And uh, yeah, Falling Skies will be June 19th on uh, TNT. Awesome. Thank you so much, Peter Shinkoda, for joining us here on AP Live. Thanks for having me.